Hey, what's going on, tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So, guys, I'm going to give you guys another reading to kind of see where your soul is currently at. So, what lessons your soul is currently going through at the moment. So, you may be going through an ego death, you may be going through a dark night of the soul, you may be doing a lot of release work. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to be going um, seeing what what is going on for your soul at the moment, what lessons you're going to kind of be learning. Um, so this is going to be interesting. It's my, one of my favourite decks anyway. It's called The Soul's Journey. And everyone, most people that get a reading off me go for this deck. They're just drawn to it. I don't know why. Um, it's a cool deck. Um, and, my, and it's going to be a general reading. So if um, you feel that it doesn't resonate for you, you may want to check out another reader to get a bit more guidance. Um, and my videos are timeless. So when you come across this video, it's for you. And if any of you are interested in purchasing a uh, personal reading, you can send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. Now, let me just clear the energy first. Begin. <clears throat> well, let's, let's see what's, what's going on in the collective. What, does, what is the soul experiencing at the moment for the collective? And I still know a lot of you people, not a lot, a lot of you people, a lot of the collective is still going through the caterpillar stage. So they're going to be going through shedding a lot, and a lot of things are going to be coming up emotionally and mentally for to be cleansed and healed and released for you then to progress on to the next. Um, chapter in your journey. So, what do you want them to know? What messages do you want them to know? <laughs> and then your first card is patience. <clears throat> and I've got it tattooed on my hand here yeah? because I'm impatient. <clears throat> um, and then the card says, I accept that everything happens in divine timing. So, whatever you're currently experiencing, no matter how uncomfortable the situation is, um, just be patient with yourself and show yourself compassion because, um, yeah, you're going through, like, a lot is coming up to the surface to be healed and released. So if you've been suppressing stuff over the over the years, um, if it's all going, if it's, it, there'll come a time where it all will come to the surface. No matter how long you suppress something, it will always come to the surface. So depending how deep the trauma is, um, or suppressed it is, that's what should is going to be coming up. So if you're going to, if you're experiencing that at the moment, um, try to be very gentle with yourself. Be kind, compassionate to yourself. And if you're having off days, just rest. Just lay in bed and just relax. That you don't need to be. Um, you're going through a big transformation at the moment. And some of you are trying to rush something as well. And some of you are very impatient. Um, yeah, and I, I sharpen these readings as well. So yeah, everything happens in divine time. If something's meant to be, it will meant to. It's meant to be, guys. Um, just kind of step back and just let the universe take control of the situation um, while you hand, handle um, things that deal with things that you're meant to be dealing with at the moment so if you're meant to be leveling up um, that's what you're meant to be doing if you're meant to be doing inner work or being of service that's what you're meant to be doing not focusing on something else at the current time because we need to be focusing on being on, of service and growth and healing at the moment and the ascension and then your next card is gratitude <clears throat> and then the card says i am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents and that's a heart chakra card once again <laughs> so once again a lot of you guys need to be working on that heart chakra or stuff may be coming to the heart um some of you guys may be feeling quite emotional at the moment your heart center might be opening so you may be feeling very vulnerable at the moment um, if you are Capricorns or not used to showing emotions, um, if your heart center is opening, it can make you feel very vulnerable, um, feeling emotional and drawn to stuff and crying at the drop of a hat. Um, if you're not used to that, it can be very uncomfortable, let me say that. But um, some of you are being called to show gratitude. Um, gratitude helps you level up automatically. Like If you're grateful for the little things, the bigger things will just unfold. Um, 
and it, yeah be grateful for this life as well because this life is like one of your most important lifetimes or incarnations um, to help with the shift and the ascension all the other lifetimes and experiences you've been through during this lifetime and previous lifetimes has led you to this moment a lot of souls would want to be incarnated right now um so just be grateful for where you're at and be grateful for what you're experiencing as well because there's people around the world that would love to swap their problems for yours not to compare yourself to other people but there's people out there would love to swap what you they're experiencing from what you're experiencing man um that helped me um kind of see things differently um last year when i was transitioning um from the fourth to the fifth and i had the dark night and the ego soul as well and that kind of sucked um, but the fourth the fourth realm fourth dimension is like a cleansing realm so a lot of you are in that now and you're nothing dense can go through to the fifth if that makes sense um so yeah just be grateful for what you're currently at sometimes it's not pleasant but there are people around the world who would love to swap their problems for your problems trust me on god so just be grateful for where you're at at the moment um and then the next card is freedom and the card says i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness so freedom's coming for you guys you're ex you're coming out of the cocoon phase is what i'm saying um and do what makes you happy is what i'm getting and what brings you freedom so whatever um if you want to go out into nature i don't know if you want to let out your inner nerd um do what makes you happy do what you're drawn to not what everyone else is doing oh yeah we want to go out on friday and this and that do what if you want to kick back with a cup of tea and watch so um not so netflix because you're going through stuff do that if you want to research stuff if you want to kick back with a book do that um yeah it's time to be free and break free from um whatever cycles no longer serve you or things that no longer serve you because they've been holding you back is what i'm seeing and you create your own happiness so do um yeah if something doesn't bring you happiness or joy or love even don't do it man um yeah if it's bringing you unhappiness sadness and unhappiness sadness and just lowering your vibration and putting you in an unhappy place yeah you need to cut it off yeah because where we're going none of that negative stuff is going to where we're going um so the i'm not saying you don't have to there's, there's no right or wrong but um well, some of you are breaking free from a certain situation as well. So maybe you're transitioning from job, relationship, or you're stepping into freedom. Some of you just um, like to be free and not tied down, which is cool. It's cool as well. Nothing wrong with that, because I'm an indigo. I like fucking freedom. People can't tie me down and shit. Um, like, I like space, but like closeness as well, so it's very weird. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, come here, but go away. <laughs> Um, and then the next card is failure <clears throat> and then the card says I understand that an op uh, I understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn yeah so um, yeah don't feel you failed at something if you're okay like that's the only way we learn that's the whole thing that's the whole learning experience of being human um, from failing and trying if you're not trying then you ain't if you ain't if you haven't failed at anything then you're on the wrong path in it that's what I'm saying because the whole ex human experience is trying um, trial and error we're trying out new things to become better people we try stuff that don't work for us or we try stuff and fail and then we keep trying and then become better and I think some of you may be you've been trying to be more spiritual but you feel like you're failing and it's not um you're not where you want to be at but that doesn't mean you're fail you're failing it's just where you're at now like me personally like of recent i couldn't meditate i still can't meditate for a long period of time um so if man can't meditate for a long period of time man gotta squeeze in five to ten minutes do you know what i'm saying man gotta keep trying um maybe that's a capricorn thing because i'm stubborn and that and listen if someone tells me it can't be done it's being done in it and man will show you in it like <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I ain't exposing too much of myself in it. But, like, yeah, if someone says it can't be done, man will show you, man will do it in it. <laughs> I'm fucking off key, you know. But, yeah, keep trying. Don't give up. Um, obviously, but there is a time if something isn't working, maybe in this relationship, maybe sometimes there is times to say, okay, that's enough. Things ain't working and we need to part ways, yeah? Um, and in jobs and other things as well. You can keep, you can try at something, but sometimes things just don't work. 
um, and the lesson will keep repeating itself until it is learned. So, um, yeah, just throwing that out there and see what else comes up. And then the next card is love. And then the card says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Um, once again, heart chakra again, man. And that's right in the middle as well. Crap me up. All right. So like, again, the heart, sh some of you, heart chakra is very, is opening and it, you, some of you are feeling very vulnerable and it's like scary for you is what, is what I'm getting. And that's okay. That's cool. Um, because yeah, if you're not used to emotion from past relationships and stuff, um, feeling emotions and being vulnerable and being open is can be very scary if you've been um hurt in the past because you may think that that may happen again but where we're going energy wise listen love is in the air listen love is in the air that's what i'm saying love is all around like literally now man see like yeah man see love all around in it that's what i'm saying everywhere but bus stops i see birds i see people everyone is just in love at the moment from where i'm at anyway um so yeah, everyone's just kind of yeah. There's the world. The world's going. It's crazy right now. But yeah, you've been called to work on your heart chakra. And be open. Be open to receive love. Love is the highest vibration there is in the, the highest frequency in the universe. So be open to receive love, unconditional love. That's where we're going. Unconditional love, unity. That's where we're going. So you've got to be coming from your heart, heart space to give and receive love unconditionally, man. Um, you want to be loved. That's the whole thing. That's like who wants to go through a whole lifetime of not being loved? And what? That's not nah, like. Yeah, but love can be very scary. Love can be very scary, but that's okay. It's just about being, um, sometimes you've got to use your um, discernment as well in certain situations, but yeah. And then the next card is worry. And then the card says, I am learning that worrying doesn't change an outcome. So some of you are wor like <clears throat> worrying and a bit anxious at the moment, which is cool because um, if you're transitioning or experiencing certain things, worry can, um, yeah, it's a bit worrying and b keeps you anxious and stuff. But worrying doesn't change the outcome of the certain situation. So I've, d I've done this so many, I I'll still do it. Um, yeah, I still do this. If I've got something on my mind, I've got to like know how it's going to go, which is like, oh, is, is it going to go like this? Is it going to go like that? And it's like, it's out of my control. It doesn't really matter which way it's going to go because that's the way it's meant to go. Like, whether it's good or bad, it's just an experience at the end of the day. Whether it's a job, getting an interview, whether it's a relationship working out, whether it's family members or something like that. Um, yeah, worrying just keeps you keeps you stuck in a way. So it's about trying to try to divert your attention and put your focus somewhere else, even though it's hard to do when you're experiencing something like that. But... Um, yeah, there's nothing you could do. It's just surrender. Surrender to it. Surrender to the universe and give your cares to your angels. Conversate what you're experiencing, what's worrying you with your angels, and they will lighten the load for you. But you have to call your angels in and communicate with them because they cannot intervene because it is a free will universe and they cannot intervene in your journey. And then the next card is honesty. And then the card says, I cannot always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So some of you need to be honest with yourself. What do you want? Where do you want to go? Um, what do you want from your journey? Where do you want to be at? What goals do you want? Um, and yeah, you can't like it was, like I said on the card. You got to be honest with yourself. What do you want? Um, some people want a new partner and stuff, but um, are you being honest with yourself? Are you ready for a new partner? Have you been through the healing and shit? Um, or and be hundred percent honest with yourself. Like, you know, lying. I don't know. I'm just getting lying. Some people are just lying to themselves right now. Um, maybe trying to fit in and trying to dampen down their energy when it's like, they're right. yeah, you need to be honest with yourself. Um, what do you want? Do you want to, like, in like previous reading, um, you're being called to kind of step into your soul's purpose, like step into your spirit, spiritual side and embrace that. Um, and some of you need to be honest with that. Is what I'm getting. You just need to be honest with yourself. You need to question where you want to be and what you want from life and what you want out of I don't know your next partner or what you what goals you want. Where do you want to be of service? How do you want to be of service? Um, and a good question is how can I make the world a better place? <clears throat> if you're feeling stuck and a bit lost, and do you want to be of service? Like some you might not. Some people might not want to um, ascend and level up, and that's okay. Like you, but you just got to be honest with yourself. Do you want to level up? Or do you want to stay where you're at? So, like, you, you've got a choice. You don't have to. But, um, yeah, it's just a choice at the end of the day. 
and it's what you want to do, not your ego. Like, close, try to steal your mind and ask your soul what you really want. Go within. Um, yeah, yeah. You find out what you what, what you really want, and then, then I love this card, you know. And then abundance. And then the card says, "I am a limitless being. I am. I can manifest whatever I desire into the physical realm." And that's to do with the heart chakra again. Fucking hell. yeah, you stop. Yeah, alright, cool. Um, yeah, so you guys are abundant. Whatever. Right now, listen. Manifesting is almost instant. That's all I'm saying to you guys, isn't it? Manifesting is almost instant. So wherever you're putting your focus, the energy is going to go there, and that's going to manifest, whether it's good or bad, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. So try to focus on the little things, the things that you want to create. So if you want to, um, if you're trying to heal at the moment, focus on what part aspects you need to heal, or write them down, get it out of your head, so you can read it on paper and then go over it. Um, talk to someone who, if you've got a lot going on in your mind and you're feeling stuck on your journey and you want to level up, level up, talk to someone, get a reading, um, go out in nature. Um, some some of you may need counselling if you, you you're dealing with a, a deep and heavy past trauma. Um, because some things are really deep, and uh, without talking about it and expressing the deep parts of yourself, it, it's hard to shift that. Um, but also the universe is is listen whatever you want you can have in it it's just if you're willing to put the energy into it i've done a video on manifesting check out the video on manifesting um the channeled message um but uh, yeah you're abundant um and it's the lack mentality that you need to come out of um because yeah you can have exact anything you want literally uh apart from people Apart from people, because it's a free will universe. Um, but apart from that, um, you can have literally anything you want. Anything. On God, you can have literally anything you want. So you just got to be open to receive. If you ain't work, if your heart chakra is blocked, how are you going to be open to receive the what the the abundance the universe is pouring out to you? Because your heart chakra is blocked and closed off. Um, so yeah, so try to be work on that heart chakra, guys. Um, the more people working on the heart chakra. Um, yeah, it's a collective thing. So the collective heart chakra is kind of... It's opening, but it needs assistance at the moment. And people are very scared of being vulnerable. And that's okay. And a lot of females are kind of stepping into their divine power. And stepping into their, their feminine... More of the feminine energy. Because a lot of the women were kind of leaning more to the masculine energy. Because of past hurts and stuff. Is what I'm getting. But that's okay, that's cool, because we both, everyone contains ma masculine and feminine energy. Um, but the fem the female energy is more leaning to the more feminine energies at the moment, so that's cool. And then the next card is health. And then the card says, I will honour the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Um, so some of you may be in being called to detox, um, some of you may be um, transitioning from... Um, eating meat to being vegetarian or vegan. Some of you may be fasting or detoxing. I'm currently detoxing myself and I know it's um, Ramadan, so I know people are fasting as well, um, which is interesting when it shows up in the reading. Um, but yeah, just uh, you're being called to kind of take better care of the vehicle, um, the vessel, because like, the, if you're not taking care of the vessel when you get to get older, um, you're gonna it's going to need more maintenance in it. And... Um, yeah, long the better you take care of the vehicle, the better the better things will be. That's what I'm saying. Um, some of you need to eat more vegetables. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, more vegetables. But apart from that, um, the health wise, anything you got anything more for health wise, guys? Nature. All right, cool. Some of you guys need to spend more time in nature and be out in nature more um, to get to be grounded and to um, to connect more with nature. And if you're grounded, you hit, actually grounding actually heals you. Um, it takes the extra um, electrons and electricity because we're electric, electrical beings. Um, the earth actually neutralizes that extra energy that we're actually holding from um, electro radiation, like cell towers, Wi-Fi and stuff. Mother Earth actually, if you stand on Mother Earth with bare feet, she actually takes, she neutralizes um, the extra radiation that we're getting, um, electrical wise. So that's very important. You can check out um, 
there's uh, videos on YouTube about earthing and how it can help heal the body as well from physical pain, mental issues as well. So that's very um, interesting to check out and I do recommend that. But um, yeah, that's your reading, guys. I'm sending you guys some blessings. Peace, love, light, oneness, unity, abundance and health. Um, so guys, yeah, that's your reading. Um, it's pretty smooth reading. So the soul, you, some of you are going through a transition and... Um, but in overall, it's looking kind of good. Use it. Use the breaking free of a certain cycle. That's the main thing, and you are starting to become aware and trying to step into your purpose, which is cool. And a lot of you are starting to be honest with yourself, like where do you want or what direction you want to go in. So that's really good. Um, yeah. So if you guys, um, if you guys like the video, you guys know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Don't be shy. I see you guys watching, but I don't see you guys liking. Um, and. If any of you guys are interested in a personal reading to get a bit of guidance on your journey um, to kind of steer you in the right direction, you can hit me up. Um, I have an email um, or you can send me a DM on Instagram at ccrystalclear. Um, and also I make crystal necklaces, anklets and bracelets. So if any of you are interested in needing a little healing on certain chakras, um, you can send, send me an email or DM as well to kind of help you on your journey as well. But um, peace, love and light tribe and I'm going to hit you guys up real soon.